I may look different now, but it's still the same me. I'm still the same Aika. I'm still here to share all my experiences with you guys. Good morning, guys. So I just took a shower. My hair is still super wet. And I need to leave in a minute. But I really wanna... Oh, my alarm. That means I really have to leave now. Yeah, I just wanted to say hello. Today is a very exciting day for me because I'm finally getting my nose done. That's really weird for me to say, but yeah, I am so excited, guys. I've been wanting to do this ever since I was in high school. I really thought hard about it and I've been thinking about it ever since then. So yeah, finally the time to do it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So yeah, we're gonna head to the clinic now. It's 8 o'clock. I need to be there by 9. The clinic is in Ortigas, so yeah, I'm not really sure how long it'll take us to get there. But yeah, guys, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also really excited because I've been wanting this for so long. So yeah, I'll take you guys along throughout this rhinoplasty journey. <laughs> After my surgery, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get back to you guys and show you guys how I look like. After the surgery, I'm gonna be super swollen and there's gonna be a lot of blood. I'm just warning you guys, so just in case. I just got home and this is how I look like now. I can't really talk that much because my chin kind of hurts. I love it so much. It's so tiny and small. Oh my god. Yeah, the procedure took about two and a half hours and it was so scary. Not gonna lie, guys. I was so scared because there's two types of anesthesia. One's a general one where you're asleep. The other one is just local anesthesia where they just put the, the anesthesia on the areas where you need it. And that's what I did and I was awake the whole time. So I can hear what they were doing to me and yeah, it was pretty scary. It's a bit painful because I just drank my medicine. Much, much, much later. I honestly don't remember the last clip I filmed. I was supposed to film like my rhinoplasty journey, but when I saw my face in the mirror and how bloated my face looked, I was like, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that my face is on the internet. Like how it looked like when it was bloated because it was really bad guys so now i'm just gonna give you a rundown of what went down during my healing period what i prepared for and i guess the tea the real tea about getting a nose job because i feel like whenever people talk about it online or through videos i feel like their healing period is so fast like they didn't really encounter problems along the way and I am here to tell you that problems will arise. By the way, I'm not wearing any makeup right now except for my lip balm. This is how my face looks like now. I'm on my fourth week post-operation. I'm gonna talk more about this later but for now I want to start with what I prepared for before the surgery. The first one is to decide which doctor I was gonna go for. So in order to do this, I really researched online. I joined this group called Rhinoplasty Diary Manila and people there would post reviews about their noses and their doctors as well. So that really helped me a lot in picking the doctor for my nose. So every doctor has their own styles. And I picked my doctor because he was good with making big noses smaller. And as you can see, my nose right now, it's not really tall. Like, it's not tall na matangos. I just want it to be just the right size. I specified that I didn't really want it to be tall. I want more of that Korean cute look. Because I still want to look like myself. I had an online consultation with a doctor and then after that, I reserved a slot. There wasn't any pain at all. Like during the procedure, I didn't feel pain aside from them like injecting the anesthesia, but it wasn't, it's not really painful. I would rate the anesthesia injection like a 2 out of 10. It's not that bad, I promise. But yeah, it was just the, the sounds that you hear while they're doing it. The procedure I had done is my nose. Of course, it's 
an overhaul. I think they call it overhaul when they do everything. Like my alars were very wide, so I wanted it to be slimmer, and yeah, that's why I have scars here on the side. Because some doctors they just put bridge. Because when you put the like the implant, the nose kind of gets like thinner. But then for me, that's not enough for it to look okay. So the doctor removed like a portion of my alars and I also had tip plasty so they got cartilage from my ears and added it to my tip and for my implant I chose Cortex. The doctor also recommended that I enhance my chin as well because before that my chin was weak. My face structure wasn't balanced because I had a weak chin so I decided to go for that as well and I'm not sure if you notice it from the front because I feel like there's not much of a difference here on my chin but then when I turn to my side you can kind of see that it's more balanced now. My jawline is a bit more prominent now which I love. I feel like it made a big difference with my face shape it's not as round anymore and my cheeks don't look that big. So now heading on to what happened after the surgery. So during my first day, like right after, it felt so weird. Like there was something sitting on top of my nose and it felt a bit tight. I couldn't really talk that much. I also ate soup and like mashed potatoes after because I can't open my mouth. I could only open until here like this. So I had to use the small spoon to, to bring the food inside my mouth. Something I realized after the surgery was you can never be 100% ready for it. Like mentally ready for it. Because before that, I was really confident and positive that it would be like a good experience for me. But then during the post-operation period, I felt kind of depressed. Because after the surgery, you look super bloated. Sobrang square ng face ko. I didn't think it was possible for me to look like that. There's also a lot of cleaning involved, especially with the sutures, making sure that there's no like hardened blood around the nose. Because that's very crucial also for healing. And then I got my sutures, my outside sutures removed. Fourth day post-op. Oh my god, guys, after that, like Things just started falling apart after I got my sutures removed. The nurse said my healing was fine and I was cleaning it well. But then after that day, like the problem started to enter. I like um, taking photos of myself like almost every day just to see the improvements. And then I noticed that there was a red bump inside my nostril here in this area. So I was really alarmed. And I sent a photo to my doctor and he told me to take another round of antibiotics. So by this time, this is my second round of antibiotics. And then I also noticed that there was a hanging like blue sutures inside. So when I went back, they checked my nose. It was very red. There was a bump. And they also removed the blue thread hanging. That was very painful, guys. And then after that, I didn't really see any improvements at all. I was so scared. Like this was the time where in I was so freaking stressed and I couldn't do anything. I got my nose done to see improvements, right? To feel more confident. But then during that time, I was kind of regretting it. Like, oh my god, what if something bad happens? What if they have to remove the implant? Like those thoughts were just going inside my head. After a few days, I didn't see any difference when it comes to the appearance of the bump, like it was still there. So I had to take another round of antibiotics. That's my third round of antibiotics already. And I searched that it's usually what people take when nothing works anymore. So I was really scared because <laughs> I knew that if that wouldn't work for me, the last resort was for removal. Honestly, during my third week, during that time, I really thought I was gonna have it removed already. Like, I feel like I already like accepted it that, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. And I was saying how maybe this happened to me so I can share it with you guys, like so I can share my experience with you guys. I thought that the antibiotics didn't work because there was still a bump, but then the redness kind of subsided. I scheduled another appointment to see my doctor and I really thought that 
they were gonna remove it during that day but when i went there the doctor said that my nose has improved a lot like drastically compared to how it looked like a week after that no removal happened which i was so happy about and i thought the problem would enter you guys this is very stressful like i don't know if i recommend if i would recommend you guys to get plastic surgery as well my nose has changed drastically my doctor really got what i was going for but yeah there's still scars here on the side um it's not even yet i feel like my my tip is still going to get thinner because now it's still swollen here's my side profile this part is my favorite because i have the slope i feel like this um part of my face healed faster like the swelling went down faster right now i'm on my fourth week post-op and i feel like my healing was very slow compared to other people i went back to my doctor like four days ago um for him to clear me to travel because i'm gonna go back to japan soon so i went there and then he said that nothing was wrong everything was fine i was healing fine thankfully i was so happy when he said that because that means i don't have to worry that much anymore when my doctor said i was fine i decided to have my nose cleaned in the same clinic because my friend also had her nose job before me like a week before me and she also had it cleaned recently also and she said that you know it felt so good the nurse was very gentle on the nose area so I was like, okay, I want to I wanna get that too. Like I, I need to like clear out my blackheads on my nose. Because of course, I couldn't really like wash it properly. When the person there was cleaning my nose, dude, oh my god, she was so rough. Like, oh my god, I just can't. It hurts so bad. I was honestly very worried during that time. Like I wanted her to stop, but I just didn't say it. I wish I did. But yeah, it was so painful. One of my problem areas is my columella here. As you can see, it's red right now. Because this is the part where the bump appeared and like the colum my columella was healing very slow. So I told her that please don't touch this area because I'm still healing. I had a problem there a couple days ago. I feel like that cleaning hurt more than the surgery itself, like than the anesthesia. When I woke up the day after, I noticed that there was a bump here on my columella. I was like, this wasn't here before. What happened? This doesn't look right. So yeah, a bump appeared here on the side and also here in the middle. You guys, I've been trying to heal this part for the longest time and a bump suddenly appeared again. It's not like a hard bump. I feel like it's a bit soft. So I messaged my doctor and told him what happened. I, sh I showed a photo of my nose and then he just told me to put antibiotics, put the topical antibiotic cream. about my nose job on my instagram first and you guys were just so supportive and so kind and sweet i was honestly very nervous during that time so thank you guys so so much for being the best internet friends ever and i asked you to send over some questions first is why i wanted to get rhinoplasty i just want to start by saying that nobody in my life ever told me that my nose was big or that i had to change something about my nose this was all on me. Ever since I was in high school, I knew that I wanted to get a nose job just to enhance my, my appearance and to make me feel more confident about myself. I don't hate my nose. Like, I didn't hate my nose. I would still post videos, photos with my old nose. I wasn't like trying to hide it whatsoever. I was fine with how it looked like. I just wanted it to be enhanced and to look better. How did your family react to you getting a nose job? I feel like the key to telling your parents is to say it first as a joke to see how they how they react and then just keep saying it because that's what I did. I just kept telling my mom that mom, I have a nose job. Ako, eh? And then she, wasn't, she was against it at first but then one time I just told her that I really wanted to do it and I was gonna do it that time she was against it but then she talked to her friend who also got her nose done and after that 
there was a switch in how she thought about it and after that she was supportive my siblings were all supportive my friends were all supportive so yeah i'm really happy that the people around me are okay with me getting my nose done you guys know i'm very open here on my channel because i want you guys to know what i'm going through and to also learn from my experiences so yeah i just hope that everything gets better everything heals soon honestly i was so sad like i didn't think i would be able to film videos like the first thought that came to my head was oh my god how am i gonna film how am i gonna you know make videos for you guys like during the problem days but yeah as of now i'm just trying to get by like i can't stop my life just because there's something wrong with my nose like i'm still filming i'm still making videos for you guys so the next few vlogs you're gonna be seeing my new nose I may look different now, but it's still the same me. I'm still the same Aika. I'm still here to share all my experiences with you guys. I just want you guys to know that this is still me, okay? My nose is just different, but I'm still Aika. Thank you guys so, so much for being here, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.